question 1 answer any question 1 out of 10 question first when torsion reinforcement is provided in simply supported two way slab the about the torsion reinforcement which uh, i already discussed in two way simply supported slab example so for more clarify you visit the previous video what is the torsion reinforcement this is uh, provided for the prevent torsion Torsion is a moment that is applied in such a way that it tends to rotate a body around its axis. The usual example being a torsion moment on a shaft. Why we are providing torsion reinforcement? It is the counteracting the moment. If uh, one direction moment will be acting, then torsion moment will be applied from counterclockwise. Counter -clockwise. So the moment it will be neglected and the structure which will save hence to prevent the slab uh, for subjected to torque we have to provide the torsion reinforcement right to difference between singly and doubly rcd question 3 or b already we discussed question 3 explain m20 grade concrete define characteristic strength of concrete M20 significant mixture of cement set and aggregate which are prepared in such a manner that a cement concrete cube size 50 cm cross 50 cm cross 50 cm is formed with characteristic strength of 20 MPa while examined after being cured for 28 days. What are the characteristic strength of the concrete? I will directly explain. This means strength of the material which not more than 5% of the test result are expected to fall that means if we are designing for 20 megapascal and 5% of your 20 is the 90 megapascal so the result should not be less than 19 megapascal otherwise the structure the that concrete will not be able able to use for the structure next question on four write minimum and maximum percentage of steel in a column and minimum numbers of bar in circular axis column then minimum and maximum percent of steel is 0.8 percentage minimum and maximum 6 percentage of the gross section area of the column and minimum numbers of bar used for the 4 for rectangular column and 6 for the circular column this is given in IS process page number 40 8. Define balance unreinforced and overreinforced section considering the value of xu and xu max. I already explained this question in a previous video. You can view from that. Explaining why overreinforced section should not be used in RCC. You also refer question 1c and then next write equation to calculate effective flange width of T beam and NB. This is given in IS Professor's page number 35 and I already provided it. Question 1 8. Why vertical stirrups are provided in a beam? Write formula for calculating of nominal shear stretch in beam. Why stirrups is provided? Stirrups are usually provided to hold the reinforcement bar. That means it will be hold main reinforcement bar. Also provided stirrups are provided in column to prevent from buckling. In a beam, they are providing to resist the diagonal shear carried by the vertical and transverse tension. They also provided to resist shear reinforcement. And the equation for the nominal shear stress is tau V is equal to V O upon tau. Sorry, V U upon V D. Next, explaining how to load the maximum spacing for stirrups for shear designing as per IS code. This is given in IS professor page number 47. And this is the equation of the minimum shear reinforcement. Question 1 10. Write the value of design bond stretch for M35 and M40 grade of concrete when MS steel bar are in tension. They, they clear they use M20 sorry FE250 grade. So we no need to multiply for the 60%. And this is the tension bar. So no need to multiply with any value. You have directly write M35 and M40 value from here. Question 2 B. Explain when double reinforced beam is required to be used, which I already explained in this video. 
this question in previous video explain concept of t beam i provided one more video sorry one more pdf file so you can directly take anything regarding t beam so download the link from description this is the few things about t beam and air beam section 3a draw section of dog leg staircase indicating tread riser waist level landing and span this is rcc staircase this is upward and you can reach through landing this is the waist slab that this is the distance like this this is tread and this is rise this is the reinforcement detail question 3 or C. explain difference between two way simply supported and two way simply supported resistance slab i provided already one video regarding two way simply supported and two way restrained slab so you visit that video and you get more clear and this is the textbook sketch this is restrained two way slab and this is question 4 and question 4b design bond stretch for first m20 tore steel that means fe 415 or fe 500 tension as well as compression and m30 ms bar this is mild steel that means fe 250 torsion and compression for first m20 this is for that m20 we are using 1.2 this is tau bd value we have to increase in for tall steel 60 percent that we multiply 1.6 and for compression we multiply 1.25 2.4 mega pascal for m30 and this is 1.5 tau bd value and this is ms bar so we no need to multiply with the 1.6 and for compression we multiply 1.25 you got 1.875 mega question 5b when double bar are provided in column footing and drawn as cut including details of double bar in isolated Paid footing. Dual bars are provided in the reinforcement concrete footing to transfer load from column to the footing. That means dual bar is extra bar provided to transfer load from top part uh, overall the structure weight to the uh, foundation. They are necessary when the concrete bearing alone is not enough to transfer loading from column to footing. I already discussed about this this is the double bar you can see here this is few things you need to write in the exam session question 5 C and D this is the question frequently asked already we discussed in the few slide above so you can read that and I already discussed this two things this is the what is everything so Thank you for the watching video, like my video and subscribe my channel and share with your friends and uh, within tomorrow I will provide one more video regarding two way slave example this that means corners are held down which is still remaining so must join, with, join me and attach with me thank you. In the description box, I provided the both paper PDF file as well as T beam analysis and design example files. So you can download the paper and T beam. Thank you.